Well, hello everybody. It is January 6th, 2023 in Big Bear, California. We're gonna do the aftermath of this last week worth of storms. I do have a time lapse that I'll be uploading tomorrow or the following day as well. So get ready for that. It's gonna be of this whole week of storms. I'm interested to see how it comes out. I think it's gonna be about eight and a half or nine minutes long. The time lapse should be pretty cool. Should be pretty cool. Hope everyone's doing great today. We do have a little bit of traffic in town right now, as expected, but I don't think it's gonna be horrible going this direction. At least I hope not. The temperature, you guys, is 45 degrees and it's 1.31 p.m. Got a little bit of a late start on it, but that's okay. I wanted to make sure that it was gonna be a beautiful time of day to do this video. So that's what we're doing. And as I said, hopefully we get through this traffic without any issues. So yeah, guys, isn't it amazing how little snow there is out here? I mean, really, really incredible to me, actually. I anticipated we were gonna you know, from a week ago, probably have over three feet of snow by this point out here. And then the traffic wouldn't bother me at all. I'd be totally fine with it. But I'm a little bit disappointed, especially for a lot of you who did come up here and are dealing with like puddles of water on top of the snow. That cannot be fun to be sledding and skiing and snowboarding in. And we're gonna kind of take a little shortcut here. So to get kind of a quarter of the way up Big Bear Boulevard towards the dam, we're gonna turn right here. We're not gonna follow these guys. This is called Lakeview Drive and we're just gonna basically stay on Lakeview until we get to Edgemore. Sorry about that, you guys. So we were just on Lakeview and we turned right on Lakeview again. And this is basically driving right along the lake. As you guys can see, there is zero traffic. It's so beautiful today. What an absolutely gorgeous day. What an absolutely gorgeous day. Then I have quite a few thank you videos for you guys that I'll be posting in the next few days. I would never, ever, ever forget to do that. I mean, my gosh, never. You guys help me out so much. I am i can't believe it, actually. But yeah, it's very important for me to do those thank you videos. Because I am grateful and I don't mind taking time to do things like that. Not at all. So if we wanted to go to the Lagunita Lodge, which is one of my favorite spots in Big Bear, one of my favorite hotels, we would turn right here. And it's just about 200 yards up there on the right. But we are going this direction. And I still think this is Lakeview. Yes, this is still Lakeview. So we've turned twice. We were on Lakeview right off of Big Bear Boulevard and then we had to make two turns at stop signs. And we're still on Lakeview. So you wanna stay on this until you get to a street called Edgemore. And then once at Edgemore, we, we hang a left. And I'm hoping we don't hit much traffic over by the dam. It's, it, it's pretty early in the day, so I'm, I'm thinking it won't be too bad. Usually about 4.30, 5 o'clock, it can get really bad because a bunch of people are leaving town, leaving the ski resorts. I'm telling you, it's so hot in my car right now. <clears throat> so we're gonna go around the lake and then we're gonna cut down Stanfield Cutoff. We're on Edgemore now, we're making a left. And then this will take us to Big Bear Boulevard. Ooh, 
boy, it is sure hot out here. The next 10 days or so, we do have quite a bit more precipitation coming, and I say precipitation and not snow because uh, I really don't know what's gonna happen. Temperatures don't look like they're gonna be much different than this. Therefore, that leads me to believe that we're gonna be gaining mostly, mostly rain again. But the positive thing about that is that it's gonna help the lake a lot. So I, I apologize about that, you guys. My phone overheated. This phone's a nightmare. This isn't the good phone that I usually use to record because I forgot to bring that one. This is my regular phone that I use to talk. So, yeah, overheated. I'm gonna have to try and keep the phone closer to me so it's staying out of the sun. Look at all these cars coming into town. So we're on Big Bear Boulevard. As I said, we took Lakeview all the way to Edgemore, took a left on Edgemore, and that cuts off so much time during this huge stretch right here where it can be really bad. And I might have to stick the phone out the window for a minute just to kind of cool it off, if you guys don't mind. I wish there was something Apple could do about this situation with, with the phones overheating. But I'm gonna stick it out the window right now. Look at how beautiful this looks, guys. Look at that. So we're on Highway 18, Big Bear Boulevard. By the time we get to the other side of the lake, the direct sunlight's gonna be less in some of the parts where we're going, so that'll be good for the foam. But yeah, hopefully everyone's having a, a great start to your new year. Oh, look at all this traffic, it's stopped, no way. It is stopped. But it's not looking like it's too bad, according to this. I think it's probably stopped just out Boulder Bay Park. I wonder what it's all about. Worst case, once we get by Boulder Bay Park, if it's still really bad over there, then we're just gonna turn around and go back the other way. So you guys can experience what I experience all the time. Starting next week, when, when we get our snowfall next week, I'm gonna be so excited because since everyone's back to school and back to work, that's the best time for you guys to try to come up here because there's not nearly as many people and the hotel rates are not nearly as bad because it's not a holiday. And if you come up here during the week, you guys will save a lot of money, especially starting next week. You guys will save a lot of money and that's what I want for you guys. I truly just want you guys to have fun up here. Being stuck in this is not fun. People stopped on in the middle of the road. Just I just never never get that. Like pull off onto a side road so you're not blocking traffic. Okay. All right, we're coming up to Boulder Bay Park, folks. My favorite spots in this whole area.
Okay. So here's Boulder Bay Park, you guys. You can't really see much because of all the cars parked here. If you guys can read these signs, it says no parking anytime. It's just mind boggling to me. It's really frustrating actually, but look at how beautiful that is. What a gorgeous place to live. I remember last year, somebody fell off this rock and lost their life. You gotta be so careful up here, you guys. You gotta be so careful. I just want you guys to have so much fun up here and that's it, nothing more, nothing less. Man, this traffic coming into town is crazy. I'm glad that I was right so far that it's basically coming into town right now. And why we're going this direction again, you guys, is so when we drive around the lake, we don't get stuck in this traffic coming back into town. Guys, I'm still super lethargic from, so it was Christmas day, evening, where I started getting a sore throat. And I feel a lot better, but I still have a cough, and I am still super, super lethargic and tired. I really hope you guys are taking care of yourselves. I was, I was feeling so bad for p potentially you guys getting this sickness. And I would have never known that it was COVID unless I didn't have that bad panic attack. I went to the ER and I told them because I don't want to get anybody sick, even though I'm feeling better, if they could test me for the flu and stuff like that and just see, just so we could protect other people at the emergency room. And they said, do you want to do a COVID test also? And I said, sure. Absolutely. That would be great. And they shoved that thing up my nose. And 45 minutes later, they said, welcome to the COVID club. <laughs> the nurse was super cool, super cool. All right, so the traffic isn't backed up all the way to the dam, but it'll take you guys a good 40 minutes from here to get into the village, I can tell you that. That's why I'm really happy that we came this direction, direction. Look at how blue everything, the sky is so blue, the lake is so blue and beautiful. I can't wait till this lake is full. We really need a full lake. We really truly need a full lake. dam area of town so there's more snow over here significantly more snow look at this I mean, this is this is a lot more snow than just a mile down the road look at how high these snow banks are holy moly so after I did the video yesterday I started the video as soon as it began to snow and right as I got home the snow changed back to rain such a disappointment And then it basically sleeted and snowed or rained most of the rest of the day. As I said, I am super thankful about it because it is going to hopefully impact our lake. Even though none of the major thunderstorms that we got this year had any impact on the lake whatsoever. And I would have bet everything against that being the case. I would have thought that it would have had a tremendous impact. 
but when I did my research, it showed that even after some of the major thunderstorms where we got inches of rain, the lake level was not touched at all, and it was still losing water at the same rate as before the, the thunderstorms. Not cool. Oh, it's Friday, that's right. That's why there's extra people coming up here too. Okay, I, I'm getting it now. So we're gonna turn right here at the stoplight. TTFN, TTFN, ta-ta for now. Look at how beautiful this blue is out here. Oh my gosh. Just magnifique. I'm hoping that we don't get stuck in any traffic coming this direction. I'm gonna have to hold the phone out the window for another minute if you guys don't mind. I know it's loud and annoying, kind of like me, but we gotta do it. Look at how beautiful it looks. Oh my gosh. We are so lucky to live here. Especially when it's bright blue skies like this, not a cloud to be seen anywhere. This is the perfect aftermath video, it really is. The aftermath. I want to thank you guys for all the beautiful kind comments regarding our friend on this channel Phil you guys are so sweet you guys are just such beautiful hearted people thank you again for everything road conditions are great you guys for those of you who want to come up here you have nothing to worry about literally nothing to worry about My motorcycle is ready. I'm super happy about that. Obviously, I'm not gonna be able to ride it for a while up here, but my motorcycle is ready. So back in like May, my engine on my Harley blew up, but thankfully I was still under warranty because I bought a brand new Harley. And I did all these upgrades to it, like a Screaming Eagle Stage 4 kit, which adds a ton of horsepower to it um, basically it was it had to have been the fastest fastest hog up here without without question but I drive it like a damn street bike and I think that's what the problem was and I ended up blowing up the engine at 10,000 miles and they just finished it can you guys believe that so I, I have a real problem with the warranty system with Harley-Davidson I feel like I got fully taken advantage of. It took them seven or eight months 
And I know if I would have gone in there and paid cash for the repairs instead of used the warranty, it would have been done probably within two weeks. And I've talked to other people who have gone through the same thing. I'm not someone to ever sue anybody, so that's not gonna happen, but if there is some sort of a class action lawsuit about stuff like that, I will definitely be involved. Definitely be involved. Here comes one of my favorite views of, of the lake right here. Oh yeah. Good amount of snow over here. So there's a big sign right there that says closed eagle habitat area, but people just, I don't know. I, I, just, I, I don't understand. I know we make it hard for free sledding and stuff like, like that, but I guess rules are meant to be broken, right? All right, guys, we're entering Fawn Skin. Do not blink or you will miss it the downtown part of Fonskin. We're at 6,750 feet right here. Oh, it's so pretty in these hills. Man, oh man, oh man. that guys that was the wife calling since I don't have the other phone to record with I had to stop the video oh San Gorgonio looks spectacular behind Snow Summit and those little ski resorts over here it'd be nice if we had a ski resort up on top of San Gorgonio I know people do hike up there to go skiing and, and snowboarding there's a really cool YouTube video where some uh, dude does that and he has his ski boots on at the bottom and there's just no snow anywhere. And then out of nowhere, he's like in what looks like the Colorado Rockies, <laughs> like just a huge, huge mountain range full of snow and it's just so beautiful. It's one of the most beautiful videos I've seen. And it's cool because it's right here in our backyard. Right in the backyard. Okay. Yeah, so for for those of you those the, that big mountain behind these other little hills 
that's San Gorgonio back there. And the furthest point on the left-hand side of that tall mountain, that's the San Gorgonio Peak. It's the tallest point in Southern California. it's this clear up here you guys it is second to none when it comes to beauty it's so peaceful so serene just everything about it being very conservative with my water on the windshield because I'm low on windshield wiper fluids. sense of what it looks like without a cloud in the sky after all is said and done. up to 45. It is 2 o'clock right now.
Wow, that lake is so low, you guys. My goodness. Looks like a pond. Look at how little snow there is over here. This whole little area just feels like we transported somewhere else. So we're gonna turn right here on Stanfield Cutoff, you guys, which is the very end of the lake. And it takes you to the south shore of town where all the resorts are and restaurants and stuff like that. side so we can get a good view of the lake this is one of my another one of my favorite lake views we got a view of Baldwin area way out there there's no snow over there even in the hills, nothing, but then you get these hills that are loaded with snow. It'll still be fun and beautiful for you guys to come up here, so come up here and have a great time, guys. But right now, we're gonna be done with the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the drive around the lake. Sorry about the few interruptions that we had. I wish you guys the very best, always. And uh, yeah. I'd like to live in this neighborhood right here. There's a lot of neighborhoods up here I'd like to live, but I don't, I can't afford it. So it is what it is. Not yet at least. I won't complain about it. I'll just work hard enough to actually get there someday. All right, back on Big Bear Boulevard. We'll turn it off right when we get around this corner where you get that beautiful view of Snow Summit. Let me get the sun out of our way here. the view I hope it's a good one. Oh, it's so beautiful that is so beautiful all right you guys as I said for those of you who want to come up here and avoid all of this come up here next week you'll be good you'll be good there will be no one up here really and you guys will have the time of your lives I promise you that take care for now Thank you guys again for everything. Thanks for all the loving support. Thank you guys for caring about each other. That's huge. That's huge. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. It's January 6th, 2023 in the Big Bear, California area. Peace out.